Hello, everyone. It's Lori Staley, Addicted Stamper. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And it is Tuesday night at eight. So it's a delayed lunch with Lori um, that we're going to do tonight since I was out celebrating today. Hi, Corinne. Hello, hello. Um, so yeah, find me, hop on. Hopefully we'll have a few people join us tonight. I know it's a different time than I'm normally on. I normally do noon on Tuesdays, but I uh, had a conflict today. Thank you for sharing, Corinne. I appreciate that. How are you doing? All right. Well, we're going to do a little housekeeping while you all find me and talk about some of the things that are happening. Of course, the mini catalog has launched. That launched on September 6th. There are some things that are not orderable at this moment in time, but they do um, expect to get everything back in stock. So be patient. Everybody just loved this catalog so much and um, things just went really fast. Hi, Betty, thank you for sharing. So yes, but that is in action, excited about that. We did also release a new, hey Debbie, we did also release a new kit in the midst of the mini catalog going live. And it is a Christmas kit, but it's a Christmas kit with bright colors I and mean, kind of non-traditional colors. <laughs> That's raining, yeah. It's fun now, I'm having fun with it. Um, so yeah, so if you like non-traditional Christmas cards or if you have friends in Southern states or in different countries, we've got some, or out West, we've got some palm trees and some cactus on here. Um, and like I said, some different colors. So I think it's Granny Apple Green, Pretty Peacock, Real Red, uh, Lost Lagoon maybe is in there. So this kit's available in the online store in the kit uh, collection section of the online store. So you can check those out. And then of course, we also released the special designer series papers. In addition to all those papers that were in the mini catalog, we released the special papers that were gonna be part of the second celebration. Stamping Up changed their promotion year, and there wasn't a second celebration this year. So they've released these for us in the online exclusive section of the store. So you can grab those. Um, we've got one that coordinates with the St. Nick set in the mini catalog. And then we have a tartan plaid that's kind of shimmery, foily. Uh, we have a shiny Christmas specialty. And then a delightful floral that we can use into the spring. So that's kind of cool. But this is the one that's exciting. And I'm afraid this one's the one that's going to sell out first. <laughs> They're all exciting. I shouldn't say this is the one that's exciting. They're all exciting. I love them all. But the silver and gold adhesive backed glimmer paper, um, I used it to create a project for an upcoming class at the end of the month. And it is awesome. And it is awesome that it is self adhesive and it die cuts smoothly. So if you remember our old glimmer paper, when you tried to die cut, it was really hard to get through the backing that was on it. You will not have that problem with this paper. It worked beautifully. So there's that. And then just a quick reminder, got two classes running right now and another one coming out at the end of the uh, end of the week. But my creativity delivered. That's my monthly class that includes product. OK, so I did demonstrate these over on my Facebook page last week and I actually loaded the video here and I know lots of you have watched it. So thank you so much for that. But these are the cards that we did with the Sending Cheer Bundle. Um, every one of these uses the Sending Cheer Bundle. And most of these, I think this is the only one that doesn't use a Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper. This one's a little bit of a fun fold. And then this one's a gift card holder. You can slide your gift card in there. And then these are just regular Christmas cards. So if you like traditional colors for Christmas and traditional Christmas images, then this might be something that you're interested in. The class is $30. You get enough supplies to create two of each project. No stamping to stay in compliance with stamping up um, rules can be done for you. So you will need the sending cheer bundle, okay? Um, but if it's not a sending cheer die cut or, bun or stamped image, then they will be included for you as well as well as whatever ribbon you may need you're going to get a full pack of these really cool adhesive back sequins i love 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 these so you'll get a full pack of those you're going to get a half pack um, cut to six by six of the walk in the forest designer series paper these patterns are really cool they coordinate beautifully with so many of the stamps and bundles 
um, including the very cute. And then you've got traditional Christmas as well. So, so you'll get a half a pack of this cut to six by six. You'll get a full pack of the gems, enough supplies to create two of each of the cards with envelopes with a color PDF that gives you step-by-step -step instructions. And you're also going to get the Christmas tidings embossing folder. And I don't know if that is going to show you enough of what that looks like, but it is a really cute folder. You can do it horizontally or you can do it vertically because some of the words run in both directions. So that also comes in your class. Um, registration for this is going to be underneath the video tonight. So if you're interested in that, I think that closes the morning of the 18th. So you're going to want to grab that um, before then. Okay. And did I say it's $30? Postage is $9 priority shipping to get it to you. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get that out before the end of September. So, hey, Donna, good to see you. Hi, Carol. I love that DSP too. Hey, Jen, good to see you guys. All right. So, and then the other thing that's happening too, of course, right? We always have this cute little class going on. This is my Just Cards for the month. You earn this Just Cards class for free with a minimum $35 product purchase. If you bump your order to 50, you get an embellishment with your kits. This is a uh, kit that gives you enough supplies to make one of each card with envelopes and a color PDF. There's an in-person opportunity if you live local to me. Uh, it's always the second Wednesday of the following month. So this would be the second Wednesday of October at 3 p.m. Or you can do a porch pickup. Or if you're long distance from me and you earn the kit, you can opt for just the PDF or send me $4 for postage. And we'll put these in the mail to you um, with the kit and the embellishment if your order is $50. If you just want to buy the kit outright, it's $15. Uh, plus the postage if we're mailing them, okay? So that's happening for the month of September. That order gets placed on my website using the monthly host code. And I think that is everything that I wanted to share with you with the exception of, look what we did together. Oops. Hi, Jean. Hey, Janine. What's oops, Carol? <laughs> um, we did the Barry cute cards a couple of weeks ago and the winner of this is Linda Group. So congratulations, Linda. I think I'm going to see Stacy on Wednesday. So I might just give them to her. If you hop on, I'll try to keep my eye out to see. But congratulations. Thank you for watching and commenting and sharing the video. It really does help me. And I appreciate that greatly. So tonight we are going to play with August, because September is going to be here any minute, August Paper Pumpkin. And that was the Meaningful Flowers kit. So this one gave you enough supplies to make four each of two different card designs. It came with the pretty blue tissue paper, which none, I don't know about you, but I don't throw out my tissue paper. I repurpose it, right? It came with an exclusive little stamp set that was standard and then a bonus stamp set, which is these really pretty flowers with a stem. It also came with some tear and tape and some linen thread. You've got a sheet of dimensionals in this kit, half sheet, I should say. And then we have these cute little uh, clear embellishments. Let me find something darker to hold it against. Hopefully that helps it show up a little better uh, in two sizes. So that's always nice. We always like the, the bling, right? By the way, thank you to those of you who commented on my Facebook page today. I am running a contest over there. So go over and uh, leave me a comment to be entered into the drawing for one of my favorite crafting tools. You also get a pretty peacock ink spot. That's a good one. And then of course, all of your pieces and parts to make the projects. So let me show you the cards as they were intended. Okay, so this is the one card base, and then this is one of the die cuts that comes in the kit. Two different kinds of die cuts, and you get, of course, four of each of those for that one. The Your Friendship reading is in the stamp sets that we got, so that's very nice. And, of course, they did that in the Pretty Peacock. And then the other card looks like 
this. Now I did this one a little bit differently than what the instruction said. So we're gonna do these and then I have three alternates to share with you. And I love that you're all hanging out with me on my birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna start with the floor, with the, this yellow one. And on the back of the card, it has the forget me not flower, love devotion memories. So it has a little commentary on the forget me not flower. That's kind of fun. Reminds me of cards from back in the 50s, right? We always had those little notes on things. Well, that's what I remember anyway. Thank you, Corinne. <laughs> Who knows if my memory is all that good anymore, right? The banners, of course, are another one of the die cuts that we get in the kit. And you do get one extra of those. So that's kind of nice. If you make a boo-boo, you got one extra to recover with. But truthfully, you could just use your basic white cardstock and create another banner if you like had a lot of boo-boos. <laughs> oh, thanks, Donna. All right. So your friendship is unforgettable. That's a perfect greeting for the forget-me-not flower, don't you think? Let's grab ourselves a block here. And I'm going to grab that out of kit because all my other ones are locked up. On other projects. This is the week where everything is in motion. I have I had club on Monday. I've got club on Friday. I've got just cards class here tomorrow. So everything is packaged up in kits. <laughs> It's a bit of a challenge to uh, to do the lives, but we just pull them back out. All right. So we're going to stamp that. Hopefully as close to the center as we can. I think that looks, oh, excuse me. I think that looks pretty good. Hey, Marlene. And this is how easy this card is, right? So all we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of um, twine, linen thread, I should say, not twine, but linen thread behind that greeting. And then we're going to pop it on with dimensionals. So I'm going to cheat and lay some adhesive down here to make this a little bit easier for me. And then I'm just going to do a tail and a loop. And you know, if you watch me, you know, I struggle terribly with <laughs> putting ribbon on cards like this. I don't know why. It's just not in my wheelhouse, right? So we're just going to do a couple loops and bring our tail. It's almost like a pretzel, right? It looks like a soft pretzel, which is one of my favorite foods in the world. Who else likes soft pretzels? Anybody? I hadn't had one in over a year because I've been on that weight loss journey. And uh, Saturday night, my girlfriend and her husband and Rick and I went out and we were at a festival of sorts and they had them. And so we said, okay, we're going to split one. And we both said it was worth the calories. <laughs> Corinne does. I know they're awesome, aren't they? Oh, that's awesome. Yay. So you all know the story of the shoemaker's children. He took care of everybody else's shoes in town and his poor kids were running around in shoes that were falling apart. Yeah, that's the kind of uh, <laughs> card maker I am. I make a whole lot of cards and I really am crappy at sending them. <laughs> all right, so this is going to get popped right in here. But first, we're going to lay down one of those really pretty um, floral images that they provided to us. My voice is hoarse tonight, too. I think I was talking too much today. So that is nice. When they're just a punch out die cut, got to love that, right? And then see how this closes. Now, I am going to try to bring this up just a little bit. That's going to go on flat. So we're going to add a little adhesive to the back.
use my silicone pad so the adhesive doesn't stick to my desktop. Pop that right about there. And then our greeting is gonna go right across the center. And we're gonna keep that down low enough so that it's hidden behind our grass. And there is how simple that first project was. Okay, so that's the way it's intended in the uh, instructional sheet because you always get an instructional sheet as well. This one, like I said, I did go a little bit rogue. Um, and if anybody's made this kit, let me know if you experienced what I did. Um, so we have this beautiful Orchid Oasis card base, and then we're gonna layer this really pretty sheet that they provided. And then we have some vellum that is printed with the lily pads in the pretty peacock that's going to go right down there. So let's go ahead and get everything mounted. These really are quick cards as they're designed. And that's the nice thing about Paper Pumpkin and having a subscription. At least you know once a month, you're gonna get something in your mailbox that is not uh, a bill, <laughs> right? Because you know, that's most of the time that's what we get. Another one of the die cuts that comes in the kit. And we're going to pull off the You Are Capable of Amazing things. We're going to stamp that in Pretty Peacock. As soon as Lori sees where she put the Pretty Peacock ink pen, oh, she put it away. Silly girl that I am. <laughs> this is going to get stamped on this big lily pad. And it really does fit. Just like that. Hold please while I grab a wipe because I just put pretty peacock ink all over and under my fingernails. And I know I will transfer that to something if I don't get it off. I do like the lily pads and I love the flowers. We get those in my husband's pond. He has a pond out back that he built. And um, they're so pretty when they open up. All right, hopefully I've got enough of that off of there that I don't transfer. So what you were supposed to do was to take the um, tear and tape, right? And I'm gonna use the one that I have open already. And you're supposed to put it on the edges, tight to the edge, okay? So we're gonna do it, but I'll show you what happened when I did it. And the very cool thing is that this does not show through the vellum, partly because it's printed and colored, right? We're just gonna peel off the backing on the tear and tape. And we're gonna line that up down here at the bottom. So it's supposed to allow this to slide in and you're supposed to be able to read it through the vellum. Well, first of all, I can't read it and it doesn't slide because it's actually wider than the tape allows because you saw me put it really tight to the edges. So I'm just gonna mount it on top, just like that. I think it's just as pretty. Yes, you do, I remember that. You do like frogs. So if you have that problem, don't, don't stress over it. Just change the location of the image and it just makes it pop and be a little bit bolder, okay? And that's how quick and easy that particular project is. So that's the designs that they provided to us. I think they're both lovely, but you know me, I gotta do something different. <laughs> I got to add a little something to the world here and change it up. So now we're going to do the alternates that I created. All right. So the first one 
Well, the first thing I'm going to do is this is the envelope. I don't think I showed you the envelope. This is the envelope. And can you see in there? We're, of course, going to take apart one of these envelopes because that is just free designer paper, in my opinion. So I'm going to do my best to open this up. And there's adhesive, so there's no way to save all of it right but we're going to save as much of it as we can so that we can use it on some of our projects and then i'm going to grab my paper trimmer and trim this all all down into size oh sorry dang that didn't sound good did it okay so the first thing i'm going to do is take off that rounded edge up there And I may come back and trim more off, we'll see. And then I'm gonna cut this piece off right on the score line for the envelope. Because I'm trying to maximize what we have here to play with. Anybody else cut their envelopes apart or is it just me? And I'm gonna use this as a card front. So I'm just going to trim it now down to size, what I would like it to be, which is probably gonna be four and an eight. So let's do that. Okay. And then we'll take this bottom part off to where at five and three eighths. So this I know is gonna be a layer on a card front. And then you have a green strip. You have some strip here that you can use. Let's cut off that flap. Make this straight. The flaps always fight me. We're gonna go this way. And it's got the cute little flower on the white side too, which it's a, a shame to destroy, but we're, we're going to. <laughs> we're gonna do it anyway. All right, so now we have a strip that we can use as an accent. We have a green strip if we want to use that. We have a layer to do the card front. And then this last piece, same thing here. Let's trim this down. So at least we have the white piece, white um, corn paper off of it. And I'm also going to take off the round edge. So at least I have a layer now that I can do something there. So that's what I do. I, tear, I cut, cut apart my um, yeah, steam woodwork. You're right, Debbie. Yep, absolutely. But I cut apart my card to create. All right. So there is also, of course, that envelope goes with our flower. There's also, and I thought I did cut this one apart and I didn't. There's also this envelope that goes with the lily pad. So let's, uh, let me grab this here. It's so pretty, makes a great background. We're gonna go ahead and cut this one down while we're cutting down envelopes. You cut it down. It's just too pretty to waste just, just as an envelope. I mean, I know we like to do pretty envelopes and I do some, but I also like to repurpose it for our cards. And then we're gonna trim down the edge here. So we have a flat. And I'm actually gonna cut that off on that seam again, give this a little bit more so I get rid of the rest of that white. 
All right. So the first part that we're going to do is this one. And I'm using that bonus stamp set, right? This is our bonus stamp set that came with the kit. And do you see what it's sitting on, right? So we're going to use the envelope as our background paper. As soon as I find that particular kit. I'm going to move this out of the way so I have a little bit more space to work. Anybody else get their desk all um, all jungled up? I swear I can never, ever. Okay, so I got my kit for this one. We're going to trim this down a little bit more, I think, to fit on our lemon lolly and I've got a layer of peacock now you wouldn't have to use the whole layer of peacock you could trim it save yourself some cardstock if you have little scraps laying around that would be fine um but sometimes it's just easier if you have a long strip like that to go ahead and use it I'm actually using one of the card bases from the kit as a card base we're gonna go ahead and mount this across, just like that. Well, we're gonna to toss it across the room. I know, I, every once in a while, I've gotta stop and clean it up because I just can't take it. <laughs> just can't take it. It's crazy. All right, let's... Uh... <clears throat> Grab my ruler here and we'll see how big we want this piece to be. This is going to be four and three eighths. So we're going to trim this piece down. And we're going to trim our yellow. This is lemon lolly. So we know we need four and three eighths. So we're going to do four and a half. But we just have a tiny border. I did that a couple of weeks ago. I was trying to design and it was the whole room was just too much for me. And so I ended up stopping and completely gutting my one cabinet. I think I had two huge bags of trash. Took my took my counter down to nothing and created different storage sections for different events and just trying, I'm always looking for the best organization that I can get, right? So that is our layer that's gonna go on our card front. I love Lemon Lolly with Orchid Oasis. Now, where did those cute little pieces come from? They came from the envelope. And it's okay that they're going off the edge because we're gonna pop them off the edge too. So I showed this when I was showing my sending cheer class over on my Facebook page a couple of weeks ago that you can use your images even if they don't have a full image. Yes, apartments, I agree with you. Fortunately, I was not a stamper when I was living in apartments and townhouses. I guess, let's see. So I celebrated 20 years, which means I started in 2003. Yeah, we were living in this house when I started this. So, Cause I know I would not have had enough room, enough room either for sure. So I'm just trimming out the lily pads because we're just gonna add them to the card just like that. No fuss, no muss. Don't have to be full images because we're gonna butt them up right against the edge. Lori's doing it upside down. Hold please. <laughs> you like this one a lot? Good. 
I have fun doing the creating the different alternates with it. Um, I stay, tr I pretty much stay true to the theme of the project or the theme of the kit, right? With the lily pads and all, but just finding something different to do with it is always fun. Okay, so there we have that. I did go ahead and stamp and color. And, and these had to be fussy cut, right? This was the bonus stamp set that came in this month's kit. I didn't use the stem obviously, but I did use both the small and the large flower. I did this one in Flirty Flamingo. So you'll have to tell me which one you like better, the Flirty Flamingo or the Daffodil and Lemon Lolly. Um, this is Flirty Flamingo and Bubble Bath. And then I took the Wink Estella over it to give it a little bit of shimmer. Because I think of these as being magical. So the big one's gonna get popped right on there. It's okay if it goes over the edge, because remember, we're putting it on a card base. And then this one is hmm, Fresh Freesia. And oh, did I say that fresh freesia and bubble bath on this one? So I used the bubble bath on both of them. Same thing here. It's okay that it's going to be off the edge a little bit. Now the thinking of you, I think, came from. Actually, it came from Quiet Meadow, but we're going to put a different one on there. I think if it fits, because I have the go-to greetings here. Yeah, that'll fit. So let's put that on there. Hey, Verna. Let's put that on there in the pretty peacock, because that, of course, is the ink spot that you would have in the kit. There you go, Corinne, absolutely. We're gonna go ahead and mount this. And then if I can find those cute little embellishments, we're gonna add a couple of those. Who did you get the two colors on the flowers? Who did you get? Are you asking me what the two colors on the flowers are? This one's Flirty Flamingo and Light Bubble Bath, stamped in Flirty Flamingo, colored with Light Bubble Bath. Oh, I stamped it in the Orchid Oasis and the Flirty Flamingo, and then I colored it in because it leaves space, and then I colored it in with the blends. That makes sense? Let me grab my. Where did it go? Oh, right there. I'm gonna pop one of these on each end. Okay. So this, I think I like that thinking of you. It's a little bolder. But which color scheme do you like better? Do you like the flirty or do you like the daffodil? While you answer that, I'm gonna get rid of some of the trash laying on my desk. <laughs> so I can find things better, right? Okay, so that is the first alternate. Now we're gonna move into that one. Love this one. Lemon Lolly is quickly becoming a, a favorite. And it was the color that I was really kind of afraid of. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to see it. So let's 
So you like them both flirty. Debbie likes flirty. Betty likes flirty. Flirty, flirty. It looks like flirty's winning. <laughs> well, whoever the winner is will be able to pick their favorite of those two. So we have some Tahitian Thai. That's a color I don't use very often, but I think it goes absolutely beautiful. And of course the flowers in here go with that. Now I think they may say Azul, Azure, Azure Afternoon, but I thought it looked good with the flirties or with the um, Tahitian. So we're gonna use Tahitian Thai. We're gonna grab another one of those beautiful accent pieces. And now I will have used all of those up. And this card I can use the kit, the, um, the uh, envelope with because it's very much staying in the same color families, et cetera, with the same imagery. This is our envelope piece. This is the piece we cut out of the envelope that we're creating our background with our, um, as designer series paper. So that's gonna get mounted on here. And then I used the deckled circles, guys. They are fabulous. You like the new bubble bath? Yeah, I like the new bubble bath too. I think that is a really pretty um, light pink. We needed that. We haven't had a light pink like that. So we really did need that. And we've got a little greeting here that we're going to mount on the garden green because it coordinates with the paper. This is also out of the go-to greetings. I'm getting really lucky because I have my contacts in and I don't have any readers with me. <laughs> so far, so good. I probably just jinxed myself though, huh? And then I'm going to actually just mount this flat, but we're gonna pop that flower up with some dimensionals. I love those deckled, love, love, love. Okay, let's see, do I have minis? Cause I think, oops, I just came to seem to wanna throw things across the room. Yes, I agree. Cause they do kind of blend right into the background, don't they? Yep. Absolutely. All right, I think that I can get some of the larger ones on here and it'll work. And using the bones, we don't throw anything away, right? All right, we're gonna pop that on. Oh, good. I'm glad, Donna. So we're going to pop that right there. That's going to leave us room to slide in our thank you. That I'm going to mount flat. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Thanks, Carol. And then I have some of the pretty in-color pearls that we're gonna add as an accent. Now you all just, oh, there it is. I'm like, now y'all just saw me have the take your pick tool, <laughs> which by the way, this is the giveaway over on my Facebook page. So if you haven't, haven't answered the question over there, you still have plenty of time to do that. Don't forget to hop on there and do that. Okay. And then we're gonna do a linen bow. 
because I do like to use the embellishments that they provide us too, right? So this is a double because, you know, I think the linen thread is um, just a little, doesn't have enough oomph with it when it's by itself. I just messed the bow up though. So let me grab a glue dot. I do that with the linen thread. I do that with some of the twine, not all the twine. The jute, but you don't have to. It's really nice and thick and it stands on its own. But the linen thread, there we go. I don't know if I can fix the loops there a little bit. There we go. So there is that project done a little bit differently. And then on the inside, I'm gonna grab that strip we had left over, right? And piece of basic white that we're gonna layer on. Now this is gonna to need to be trimmed down obviously. So let me grab my trimmer again. We're gonna trim that, keep the pretty flower portion, trim all that excess greenery off at the bottom down to five and a quarter. And I'm gonna take that right to the edge. Ooh. Well, I didn't want it to do that, did I? There we go. And then I'm gonna use that same friend stamp, but we're gonna do it in Mossy Meadow. And somehow Lori just got more pretty peacock on it. That's my color tonight, apparently, huh? <laughs> I like that stamp. Your friendship is unforgettable. I have a lot of friends in my life that that applies to. I'm very blessed. They had a surprise party for me on Sunday, although the surprise was almost on them because I didn't come home when they thought I was coming home. <laughs> I went and ran some errands. Who knew? <laughs> All right, so there is our second alternate. I do like the way that one turned out. That yellow just makes it pop, I think. I wish they would sell bows to package. I tried, but you know, I thought about doing that myself, making up a bunch of bows. Because I know, I know, even in my classes, a lot of folks struggle with the bows. All right. And then the last project, I just went totally away and made a card. But I used the stamp set. So let's pull out the pieces for this one. We are going to use the rest of that envelope, though. So we have a base of card, oh, <clears throat> sorry, of garden green. Okay. And then I have a layer of fresh freesia, which I'm going to emboss with the 3D basics embossing folder. This is the crosshatch pattern. I might emboss it. I don't think all my pieces and parts made it back from the club. So let's see what I can manage to accomplish here. It. I like this pattern a lot because it's a very subtle pattern, but it does add just a little bit of something, something, right? We're going to, again, use the linen thread and use that as our accent. Okay. 
if Lori can find it. There it is. It was just hiding. And use the one out of the kit since my other one seems to have vanished. Now we are going to mount this piece. I'm going to trim that down a little bit too. This is the rest of the envelope that we cut apart. So we got three cards out of the envelopes that we, because I used a piece of envelope on each of the cards that we're creating here for our alternates. And we're gonna mount that in the center of our fresh freesia that we just embossed. And then we'll run this around. And you could run it, wrap it and wrap it because you see I have two strands there but you're wasting your product when you do that. And I like to have you be able to get more goodies for the same dollar. So we're gonna wrap it once and then cut it off and wrap it again. Otherwise you're just wasting all that on the back. And we don't want to do that. So we've got that one layered. And then we'll bring the next one in. If you know you're not going to use the linen thread on anything else, then go ahead and wrap. But I'm a I do use it. So I like to conserve it when I can. I'm going to go ahead now and mount this on our card front. And it was just, it just added a little extra touch. It needed something, right? Okay. And then I did go ahead and die cut, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I might have to die cut another one. Okay, that's hysterical because it was here. It's the elf. The elf came and got me. And it's not on the floor. And it's not in the trash. <laughs> well, let me grab that and we'll just go ahead and cut one because I kind of need it to finish the card, huh? And you know, the minute I cut it, it'll just appear magically in front of me. All right, so we're gonna make, grab a piece of scrap here. Then I'll have to design another card around that particular die cut, but that's okay. I like this Of course, it's from Color and Contour. That's our size that we want. Always double check myself because you never know. The other thing that I do when I'm die cutting something like this. And I could do it, you know, it would fit going this way and I could do it that way, or I can do it this way. I'm gonna do it so that I can use the, the piece that I'm cutting it out of. So if I cut this in the center, I can actually create a frame with it. 
Um, if I do it over here or on this side, I can still have a very small frame going around the outside edges. And then I could stamp in this section. So think about that when you're doing your die cutting, because if you can get two pieces for the price of one, why not, right? And it doesn't matter if you're using this die or a die that you have on hand. So now I can use that, like I could emboss that and then use that as a focal image over my stamped images underneath. This is the piece that we wanted. And we're gonna use the cute little flower stamp that came in the kit. We're gonna stamp that in basic gray, but we're gonna off stamp it. So it's not quite so dark. I'm going to grab a scrap here of paper. And we're going to keep it towards the top so we have an opportunity to stamp our greeting underneath. I'll stamp first. And then we're gonna color that in with our blends. This is the light fresh freesia. This is like watching paint dry, I know. What do we wanna talk about? <laughs> what questions do you have? This is a great opportunity for you to ask me questions, right? Got any questions? I like this effect with the off stamped basic gray because it almost looks like you didn't have an outline. It's a very free flowing effect. I'm going to do all the light first, then we're going to come back in and add a little bit of dark and do our greens. You like the daffodil best? The daffodil color or the card that had the daffodil circle, which was actually lemon lolly? Speaking of lemon lolly, let me grab that. I'm going to do centers. Help soften that dark that we put in there a little bit. And then we've got the light and the dark. Um, this is the old olive. almost gives it a watercolor effect because you're not seeing that harsh outline.
Uh, they are on the demonstrator site. There's a paper pumpkin section on the demonstrator site that we can pull the graphics from. Usually there's a link, especially when the new ones are coming out, there's a link right on the um, main page on the demonstrator site. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the dark here and then just go back and soften that up with the uh, light. Hold on. Let that dry for just a second. And there we go. The cute little greeting, hello friend. I love that little greeting. We're gonna stamp that in garden green. Oh, thanks Marlene. And it comes from Hope You Know. And this is a stamp set that I probably looked at three times and just kind of went, uh-huh, and moved on. And actually it has some really great greetings in it. Wishing you comfort, miss you, hello friend, thinking of you today. May you find peace in the days to come and in the loving thoughts that surround you. Great sympathy greeting um, or care and concern greeting, right? You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days and just saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Hope you know how much your kindness is appreciated. So that's in the annual catalog, but it's a great greeting. Okay. We're going to pop that in the center of that piece from the envelope. And it's just a really soft imagery there. And then I took the smaller bling that came in the kit and I put that in the center of the flowers. So we'll use three of those. Kind of highlights the yellow. Brings that up a little bit and gives it just a little bit more shimmer on there. And what did I do on the inside? I just left the inside blank. A hello friend. It can be a thinking of you, a get feel better, thank you, birthday if you wanted it to be, whatever you'd like it to be. Okay. So what do you think? Which one was your favorite? Let's hey guess what I just found. Ta-da! <laughs> we knew that was gonna happen, right? <laughs> the minute I was done, it popped up. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's crazy. It is crazy. Uh oh, I lost you all. Hope you're still there. Let's see if I can come back. Did I go away? Nope, there I am. I think. Hmm. It looks like I'm still alive, but it's not. It's not showing me. There I am, I'm back. You like the last one? Okay, let me pull all three down for you. And then also the ones that the hit promoted. And I think you guys liked the yellow one, even though we did the pink one too. Right, so there's all the projects, all the alternates that we did together tonight. And then this of course is the card that they had us do with one minor alteration to that one because I couldn't slide it down in and see the greeting. Oh good, it didn't take me out, okay, good. The last one, you like that last one the best? Yeah, it's just, I mean, we didn't really use too much of the kit. We used the envelope back there, but the stamp set's really cute. So it's definitely worth playing with that pretty little stamp in there too. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in tonight and spending part of my birthday with me. I appreciate it. 
and I appreciate you. And thank you to those of you who have responded and are playing along over on my Facebook page. I'll be live over there Thursday morning at 10. And then I'll be back over there Sunday night at eight. And we'll be back here next Tuesday, as far as I know. Some days my world changes. Um, appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Share the video. And certainly if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that and ring the bell so you're notified when I'm live or I load another video. Have a great rest of your evening. Be safe. And hopefully I'll see you on Thursday over on Facebook. Bye, guys.